Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Quick update on Pepsi. Um, we are up over 80%. I actually did not sell anything yesterday. Um, yesterday on these contracts, we did actually end up going down. So we actually had a slight turn down uh, July 13th yesterday down to almost 61 cents. But it looks like Pepsi is recovering. I will be selling. I want to say, well, I mean, I'll do, I'll, I'll do, you know, you know, I, I do want to let this run because my price target is 158 um, within the next month. And I do have plenty of time on this, right? Uh, so I think I might sell six, seven, eight contracts and then I'll, I'll let the rest of them ride because like I told you guys, as, as long as, if I can see it, my contracts at least in the 80, 90, 100% percent percentage gain, then 100% it's time to sell, right? That's strategy, always follow strategy, all right? Um, so I guess we can go in here. We can probably sell. We'll put in a queue for what was the last price? Ninety cents. Seems like there's still a lot of bullish well, momentum. So we'll do in. You know what about six? Six. You know what? We'll sell six. We'll leave four to run. We'll sell all of them at point eighty nine. Uh, my initial investment was about four hundred bucks. So we will be getting our initial investment back and set, and making like another hundred and something dollar profit. Um, and then I think I'm gonna let the rest of them ride to. I think my target, my take profit on this was what 150, 158. So my take, my first take profit on on Pepsi was 158 dollars. We're barely at 154. Um, I think a solid right now. I think we'll leave Pepsi right now at the queue for for six contracts being sold. Did I put six in? I did right. But yeah, I put six contracts. So well, hopefully these six contracts hit. Hopefully Pepsi keeps running towards the upside, and I'll let the other four. Um, run for maybe another week or so to see if Pepsi actually hits that 158 first take profit um, that, that I want to because as for the breakout strategy we have been using the percentage take profit as opposed to the actual price take profit I know Apple hit I know Nike already hit I haven't looked at Costco but it does look like every single one has already hit so there you go the six the, so, the six contracts already sold um, and I will be leaving the other four um, just to see if it actually hits that 158 because again so far we've been taking profit on a percentage basis and not actually letting it run like another week or so or however long it takes for the first for even the first take profit to, act, to even hit um, so I'll, I'll let these four run this will be the first breakout strategy that we actually um, use uh, to actually have those first that first take profit price hit instead of taking a percentage take profit which is between 80 and 90 hundred percent so again first breakout strategy was Nike then Apple then Costco they all hit Pepsi is hitting right now we still have DocuSign crowd lit BTU and ETN open I think ETN is up I think BTU is like break even the ones I am down on are crowd and Docu which I'm and, and DocuSign which I'm down about anywhere between 10 and 30 percent on those but again there's still plenty of time so i'm just letting those run and, and see how those plays out but so far um the first the first four uh, have played out nike costco apple and now pepsi so now we just need another couple weeks to see how docusign crowd btu and etn actually uh take place right so we'll see what happens so again have a great day guys i'll see you guys later pepsi update sold already sold I'm already break even, already have some profit in. These can either expire worthless or keep running up. I don't care because either way, I already took profit, already made back all my initial investment. I'll see you guys later.